now call upon the second testimony, Mr. Visashir Kivichasa. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to share my personal journey with the idea and the practice of forgiveness. On September 23rd, 1992, when I was a schoolboy, my father, Charlie Kivichasa, was shot and killed not far from here. My younger sister was with him that day and she was also injured. At his funeral, my father's elder brother, my uncle, Krele Kivichasa, he stood up and he said, <clears throat> we as a family forgive those who have done this. On June 4th, 1996, less than four years since the time my father was killed, my uncle Tubu Kevichasa was also shot dead. This time in his home, in the middle of the night, in front of his young daughter, his young son, and his wife, who was pregnant with their third child. At his funeral, Uncle Krile again stood up and said, we forgive those who have done this. These two killings have traumatized and influenced and shaped and changed us as a family and as individuals. Since the time my father was killed, I have lived with the belief that I have forgiven, that I must forgive, and that forgiveness is the right thing to do. For me, forgiveness does not mean I don't feel the pain anymore. Forgiveness does not mean I have a memory lapse and I forget what was done to my father and my uncle. For me, to forgive means I embrace the pain and even the anger but I refuse to partner with hate, with a longing for vengeance and a desire to see the perpetrators suffer. For me, forgiveness looks like never bringing up the same issue in the future to accuse or demand revenge. When I was asked to speak today, I had to again ask myself, why do I forgive? First, I have learned that to live with unforgiveness is to choose to live in a prison even though I have the key to my freedom. To live with unforgiveness is like drinking poison and hoping that my enemy will die. Second, I am a follower of Jesus Christ and I am absolutely convinced that to follow Christ is to follow the way of Christ. And the way of Christ is always the way of forgiveness. If I refuse to forgive, how can I claim to be a follower of the one who with his dying breath prayed for the forgiveness of those who nailed him to the cross? And third, I forgive because I believe that without forgiveness, we cannot move forward. We cannot always hold on to the past and expect to lay hold of the future. We can and must remember the past, but we cannot and must not remain there. If our memories of the past are greater than our dreams for the future, we are already dying. And so I pray God's wisdom upon us as we navigate our way through our politics and our perspectives, our prejudices and our personal pain, to arrive at a place where we can move forward as forgiven and forgiving people. Amen. Oh, no.